Hi friends, hello, welcome back to SMNVS Innovations YouTube channel. Now I am going to tell you regarding the stereo audio amplifier and I will unbox and show you this audio amplifier and its connections and testing this amplifier board. This is the JSP Gold audio board. IC is Friends, this is the 6283 IC. This is a 15 plus 15, totally 30 watt audio amplifier, 15 watts per each channel. It works on an input voltage of 12 volts AC or DC. This circuit board has inbuilt rectifier section, so you can directly connect to 12 volts AC. These are the diodes placed in this circuit board for converting AC to DC and it has a filter section capacitor to give an output of 12 volts DC from the input 12 volts AC. So now I will tell you the connecting diagram of this IC. This red color and black color wires are the input voltage that is 12 volts AC or DC. And this 3 core ribbon wire is the audio input wire. You can connect stereo audio input to this 3 core ribbon wire. And these yellow color wires are the output wires. In this circuit board, it can provide two channel outputs that is, stereo output. We can get 15 watts of audio output per each channel. Now I will connect this circuit board to a power supply and an audio input and I will test you and show you the output. And now I am using this signal generator, audio signal generator board to generate the audio input to the amplifier board. This circuit board will generate the audio signals from the inputs of memory card or pen drive or aux inputs from the mobiles. And I am using the 6 inch speaker to test this audio output. 
the maximum capacity of the speaker is 100 watts and now I am going to connect this audio amplifier board to this speaker and these two yellow color wires are the left and right audio outputs we get from this amplifier board so I will connect and show you individually to speaker and I will show its output now and this is the 12 volts battery we can directly connect the circuit board to this 12 volts DC supply to make the circuit work and at the output of this audio the ground the minus is the common for both the outputs so I have connected this one of the speaker output terminals to this ground and I will connect this other wire to the outputs of right or left channels and this is the audio input I have been connected to the 3 core ribbon wire I will connect this audio input to the output of this audio signal generator board this is the stereo output of this audio signal generator board so I am connecting this to this output of audio and the circuit board works on 5 volts DC so I am connecting this 5 volts power supply to this audio board to power this you can see the circuit board is on and it started working I can operate this circuit board by using this remote I can change the tracks I can control the volume of the audio output by using this remote Now I am connecting the power supply to this audio amplifier board. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. We can also connect direct AC supply to this circuit board. Twelve volts AC can also be connected directly. Now I have connected the power supply of 12 volts to the circuit board and I will test the audio output. Friends now I am connecting the speaker to the output of this audio amplifier. Now you can listen to the audio signal. I am increasing the volume
Now I will connect the speaker output to the other channel of the audio amplifier output. And now let us test the other output. Friends, this circuit board is working fine and we are getting the output of maximum of 30 watts, 15 watts per each channel and this circuit board is very useful to build smaller audio amplifier circuit boards. We can also build 2.1 and 5.1 home theater amplifiers by using this circuit board and you, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you.